Okay, so here's the old solenoid. And uh, we think one of the wires down in here must have broke off that connects to these posts because it wouldn't click in. And uh, when we took it apart, the uh, bolts all corroded on and uh, ended up breaking the, the whole housing. So it wasn't repairable. So we got a new solenoid. And uh, we're going to put it together and put it back on the boat and see if it fixes the uh, uh, no start problem. Okay, what we're going to do is start the engine without the solenoid. And to do that, what we've done is we've taken the input power to the solenoid and hooked it up to some uh, jumper leads. And we've got two of them. They're both plus right now, so we've got the red and the black connected together right here. And this is the connection from the uh, 20 amp breaker. So here's the power coming in up here onto this breaker. And then one of these leads is 12 volts coming back down to here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to jumper the engine to get it started. we got two things we got to jumper. This little box is a 10 amp breaker. And so one of these uh, alligator clips we're going to clip onto here. And that will run the fuel pump. And the other alligator clip right here we're going to clip on to the glow plug right here and we're going to count to five and Bob's going to start the engine so let's give it a shot you ready Bob ready. okay so let me clip the uh, one lead on to the okay there's fuel pump running and now the other lead I get it around here one two three four five good <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Okay, so here's the new solenoid. And the purple wire, that's this one, that comes into this pin S. And that provides power from the uh, panel up front. So when you push the preheat, power comes into this S. And that clicks the solenoid in. And over here on this side, we got the 12 volts from the 20 amp breaker. There's the 20 amp breaker up here. So 12 volts comes into this side, and that's going to run the glow plugs. It's also going to run the ignition. So here's the I output right here, second, second one over. I goes out through the 10 amp breaker and goes up this lead where it comes over to here. And here we've got the connection to the fuel pump. So this lead feeds right in the fuel pump. And you notice there's two wires on this. So one of these comes from the alternator. So once the engine started, power comes down one of these leads and runs fuel pump off the alternator. But when we're starting it, we got to provide power from this uh, solenoid down here. So the fuel pump power goes up through the 10 amp breaker and into the fuel pump. So this is the eye, for the, it's eye output of the uh, solenoid. And then on this side, this is the glow plug. So this is the glow plug uh, connections. And um, that's where they're hooked up, and they run the glow plugs. Um, on this Westerbeek engine, there's a resistor that hooks up to the I output and goes down here and hooks to the ground connection on one of the support bolts in the back. So uh, that's the solenoid, and uh, works great. You hear it click, and you hear the engine uh, fuel pump go when you start the engine. So uh, there you have it.